Well hello! Welcome back to another Reality Check video review. Today we're going to be doing another 3D printer unboxing. I hope you're ready and excited like I am to get right into this one. We've been doing a lot of these lately as you can see, but the, the, the passion for 3D printing is just constantly growing. And of course finding out which machine is the best one is something I love doing. So if you enjoy 3D printing or, or if you care to know more about it, definitely check out my other videos on these other 3D printers that you see around. I've got not only the unboxings, but I do a lot of upgrade videos as well. I like to add cameras, lights, and, and, uh, and obviously like Raspberry Pi to allow the capabilities to make every printer wireless. Uh, plus you can upgrade them with touch screen and all different kinds of things. So um, right now we're just gonna do a basic unboxing of this guy right here and we're gonna see what we can do with it. Um, if by chance you do like these videos, be sure to check out, I've got a Patreon in the link below. Uh, also, if you do like to talk about 3D printing or just uh, virtual reality or any of those other topics that I'm really into, I've got a Discord link in the bottom. Not only am I in there, but a lot of my friends are in there. We've just got a, a, a nice community of people that like to talk about things and help people. Most of all, we like to help people fix problems that they have, so be sure to check out that Discord link below. Alright, let's jump right into this printer right now. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, first thing you can see when you take off the cover is they gave us a little bit of filament. Alright, some black filament right there. We have power supply right here. Yep. It looks like we have our IC3 power cable and, uh, you know, okay. Go ahead and see what else we have. All right, next we've got what looks like the glass bed and the aluminum under heat bed. Yep, this one is 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. A very nice large build volume. And the next thing we have underneath that is the entire frame pieces. Uh, and of course, like always, the longest, most difficult piece or part of this is going to be taking off this tape, I can assure you that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. All right. So this, of course, is the DIY Trunksy printer, and uh, it's got a really nice build size for the price, but it is going to be something that you're going to have to put together. So, every single one of these little motors and whatnot, we're going to have some fun. The control board and cable ties. Last but not least, we have the frame. All right, the frame. Yeah, the, the frame. Mm-hmm. All right, it looks like we have quite the project to embark upon. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove all the paper from these pieces, which like I said, does take a little bit of time. After that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin making sure I have all the hardware that I need in order to begin. And then once I do that, I'm gonna lay out my frame pieces and begin assembling, which at that point we should probably do some cool little uh, time-lapse stuff for that, right? Uh, there is, of course, more information in the description if you need detailed information on how to build this guy or of course feel free to ask me uh, not only uh, in the discord chat like I mentioned before but uh, it's possible you might see in the video so let's go ahead and check that out
this point we are a little over halfway through the build, I believe, or at least about halfway through, through it right now. Um, we've had to take apart a few different things. Uh, make sure when you're building this piece right here that you actually put all the screws going out towards the motor. If they're going in at all, they will touch this beam, and that's not a good thing. Also, uh, same with this one. Make sure they're also going out towards the extruder and the motor, and that will solve that problem right there. Uh, down here, you want to make sure that you've got these guys with uh, plenty of movable space in case you need to have space for these rods. Some of the rods are different lengths. Um, I've got them attached up in here. The only other thing I had to change was right up on top of these guys right here. Uh, they have the ability, if you look on the back, to put them kind of uh, down low or up high. As you can see on each of them, I've moved them from the lower spot to the upper spot. And what that does is it allows me to actually move this guy back and forth without these pieces hitting right there. So that's what was happening before I had these guys hitting the edge of that, so moving it down fixed that. And other than that, no problems so far. I am building this without instructions, so hey, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, we're getting through it so far, and I'll go ahead and see you guys as soon as I'm done with this part. far, we just have a little bit left to go. Let's keep on working. Alright, looks like we're actually done with this uh, wiring on this one right now. I'm going to go ahead and test this guy out and see if we can't get it working, but that is uh, my final cabling. I haven't tested it yet. We're gonna go ahead and take a look before we close this guy up. Okay, so we spent some time putting this guy together. I just got finished putting the cable wrappings around and wiring up the board. Uh, just an FYI, there is no instructions, at least when I received this printer, I could not find any PDF uh, assembly instructions. So it was a uh, Somewhat difficult to put it together in the respect that I had to kind of just do it by eye, although I feel pretty confident that I uh, built it maybe uh, in a better way. I don't know, it, 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 it's, it, it should work. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. So I'm going to plug it in. All right. Got it plugged in. We're going to go ahead and turn on the power, which should show us something on the screen here. All right, Trunksy. 1.15 3D printer ready, it says. Alright, not a big mistake, but it looks like I accidentally had uh, my X and my Y mixed up, so we're going to go ahead and try this one more time now. We're going to go ahead and hit prepare and auto home. Alright, so that's it for the Trunksy X3S 3D printer. This thing is a beast. I mean, the footprint is just huge. It's, it's easily the biggest 3D printer that I have other than the Taz 6 right now. It's got a 300 by 300 by 400 foot you know, build volume, so it's just, it, it's got plenty of space. You can do pretty much anything that you need to do with it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Go ahead and hit a like, a subscribe would be awesome if you guys wanna help out the channel. Uh, you can also support it by being a patron. Uh, I also send out lots of free things to the patrons and it really does help me and uh, allow me to do more content like this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do an upgrade video of this printer as soon as we get done here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some lights on it, a Raspberry Pi, like usual and we'll go ahead and 3d print some also uh, some extra accessories like such as the X uh, you know tensioner and, and there's just a few other little pieces I know that people have already created for this guy so I'm gonna go ahead and get those going I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye
when I come in the arena. Let's go. 